since my last video where I was talking about this new product that I picked up, it's the uh, Black Magic Gropel. I've decided to plant it up and see how the performance goes with it. Unit, I filled up with water and uh, hydroponic nutrient. The water indicator, little float valve shows that the water is up to where it needs to be. I have my uh, option for pushing the limits a little bit. I'm gonna do a summer squash. Let's take off the cover on the middle of this. Let's get it plugged in. I, I'd like to show you how the uh, water moves around inside of this particular unit. There's a single stream of water and nutrient that jets out at each of these four potential plant sites. Now, for the middle, it does not have its own uh, water jet source. And so what happens is, is you can actually get water coming from each of the four unplanted sites hitting the middle. The uh, water indicator, uh, float valve, jet stream coming out from the side. I have not had the unit plugged in, so there is a slight film, but that's going to break up quickly. You have the plant site that is potentially over here, and that would be a single stream on it. You also have jets coming off of these other units. Now, if I were to uh, show you top down, just look at that churning, bubbling action. The top of those roots will always be bathed in a uh, weak stream of nutrient. What I'm going to use is going to be this uh, Easy Pick 2 Summer Squash, which is supposed to be self-pollinated. Lifting this pod out, nice, healthy roots. I'm going to start out by trying to extract this uh, summer squash seedling. I'll stick my fingers in between and just gently nudge. And I'll probably uh, switch over to using rock wool cubes. But look at how the uh, seedling sticks out a little bit. Not too concerned about that. I'm going to pack uh, media around that uh, seed sponge. And because it really doesn't matter what I use, I'm just stabilizing the plant. I'm gonna use glass beads. I really don't want anything with all the water spraying that will hold a lot of moisture around the plant. Trick to this is trying to keep the plant centered. And there's a little bit of a close up. In a little while, I would expect the uh, roots to, would start growing out and down into that grow pell. So let's go ahead and drop this into the system. And setting this into the uh, center area, I'm using a uh, Osri uh, LED grow light. It's right around 100 watts. This particular summer squash will not get terribly large. Currently looking at day number two, and I can see that everything seems to be going very well so far. The uh, leaves are spreading out a little bit more under the light, and the plant vigor is looking very well for this point in time. The only thing that I would mention as a side note is that the uh, Black Magic Gropel is a little bit noisy. You could hear in the uh, background the splish and splash of the streams of nutrient hitting the water. I would expect that to quiet down a, a little bit as the plant grows and those streams start to hit the root mass and then just cascade down into the water without as much noise. 